What is up in China about Meng Wanzhou incident? On September 24th, after 128 days, Meng Wanzhou was finally able to return to China. And according to her lawyer, she was released back to China, having not pleaded guilty. As soon as the news of Meng Wanzhou return to China came out, many Chinese people celebrated, and some even went to the airport to welcome her back. So why did the return of Meng Wanzhou make Chinese people so excited? And why are many countries paying attention to the Meng Wanzhou incident? Today, let's talk about the return her home of Meng Wanzhou. The words we're going to learn today are Canada, Canada, America, trap. Canada, The CFO of Huawei and the daughter of the founder Ren Zhengfei, Meng Wanzhou, faced the loss of freedom in a foreign country over the past three years, with accusations and more than 30 court trials. Three years ago, on December 1st, 2018, Meng Wanzhou was going to Mexico to attend a business meeting. She was transiting in Canada at that time, but did not imagine that she would be arrested by the Canadian police. The arrest was based on a request from the United States. So why did the police of a sovereign country arrest a foreigner who had not committed a crime in that country, but at the request of another country? And what was the reason given by the United States? It's because Huawei is suspected of using its unofficial subsidiary Skycom for cross-border business cooperation, violating the sanctions imposed by the United States and the European Union on Iran, and also said defrauding of HSBC was suspected, which bears the risk of violating sanctions. Each crime will mean up to 30 years in the prison. The Meng Wanzhou case is not only about one person. In 2018, 5G was still a relative new word. It was also in 2018, the United States started a trade war with China. At that time, Huawei had achieved a certain result in 5G technology. The incident caused the public to worry about Meng Wanzhou's destiny, and at the same time, they began to understand the competition between two countries on technology economy and politics. In Huawei's founder and CEO Ren Zhengfei's original words, Meng Wanzhou is a small ant in the gap between the collision of two big planets. The second day Meng Wanzhou was in prison, she passed a note to Ren Zhengfei through her husband that all the spearheads are aimed at you. You have to be careful. Since then, Huawei defended her strongly and asked for bail for Meng Wanzhou. Canada held three hearings. 11 days after being arrested, on December 11, 2018, Meng Wanzhou was granted bail after paying a deposit of 10 million Canadian dollars. She put on an electrical ankle tag and handed over her passport. She was only allowed to move near where she stays. While at home, Meng Wanzhou received multiple death threats, including letters containing bullets. On January 28, 2019, the United States announced the formal request for the extradition of Meng Wanzhou and prosecuted Huawei on 23 counts. But did Meng Wanzhou and Huawei really commit crimes? Well, the United States has repeatedly claimed that Meng Wanzhou is guilty, but has never produced any substantive evidence. The Canadian side also ignored the fact that the Meng Wanzhou did not violate any Canadian laws and detained her for more than 1,000 days. Is the Meng Wanzhou case a criminal affair or a political incident? This is a good question and I guess many of us already have the answers. In subsequent hearings, the U.S. is giving to add crimes could not be established, which further answered the previous question. The Canadian judge in charge of the trial has repeatedly questioned the case, saying that the U.S. accusation against the Meng Wanzhou was unclear and un -euro. In addition, the evidence from the court trial also showed that HSBC played a disgraceful role in cooperating with the United States to frame Huawei. However, this is not the first time that United States used this method to surprise competitors. In the next episode, I will share with you a story of an international company that is completely different from Huawei, which was crashed by the United States, and how Meng Wanzhou returned to China smoothly after a thousand and twenty-eight days. Again, the Chinese words for this episode are Canada, 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 America, America, trap. You can share your thoughts on the incident and the answer to the previous question in the comments and let's discuss. Please continue to pay attention.